Hello, so I am here to review my first item from Messy Mansion. I've wanted to try Messy Mansion for so long, but I have a very, very limited budget for um, anything nail related, so I haven't been able to. Um, but when I saw Messy Mansion's post on Facebook last week when she showed this kit, in a short little video, I knew I couldn't wait because um, she has released one of the cards in the kit before and it sold out so fast and I knew I couldn't wait so I ordered two kits. I have played around a tiny bit with one of them. I'm just opening the second one to show you how it all comes all wrapped up. So um, it comes in this little tin box and you get three scraper cards and one is in a plastic sleeve and then you have these two stainless steel cards right here that are also in plastic sleeves right here and it all fits very neatly in the tin box right here and you have the Messy Mansion logo and it came in this little bag right here um, a friend of mine she actually asked me today if she could buy the second set for me because she didn't see the post last week and she asked me how it works and I said it works very well and she asked if she could buy the second set from me and I will do anything to help a friend so yes of course I said yes that she could buy it from me so here is mine so it comes with three cards um, with the Messy Mansion logo on them but they are not the same they have the different um, thickness to them. Uh, one is as thick as a credit card and has a tiny bit of flexibility to it and then one is like a medium thickness to it is more flexible and then you have a thin one that is really really flexible. So hopefully you'll be able to see the difference. I'm trying my best to show you the difference between the three cards right here. Um, and hopefully you will be able to see that. I'm sorry if I'm starting to slow my words or babble along but it's like 3.33 a.m. right now. Um, so this, like I said, is a thick one. It's just like a credit card. And this one, the medium one, if you have the Creative Shop card like this one, it's just like the Creative Shop one. Same thickness and same flexibility. And the thin one is just like the Fabio Nails one, as you can see. And for myself, I prefer... Um, the medium and the thin one because I want flexibility to my um, card scrapers when I do my stamping. So I will, for myself, be using uh, the medium and the soft uh, cards the most. So this is a one that she had she released earlier, and when she did, it sold out very very fast and as you can see it's a stainless steel plate and with ha it has messy mention information at the bottom and the logo engraved and then you see all these cutouts right here with five cutouts these are average nail bed sizes but your thumb your index your middle finger your ring finger and your little pinky yeah um, so, um, what are they for? Um, if you have 
a plate like this, for example. This is one of my Marianne Nails plates. This is N74. Um, then these plates can be very intimidating. Not even just for not just for um, new stampers, but for uh, someone that has been into stamping for a while. It might not be as easy to use these kind of plates as it is normal image plates because um, there are so many details uh, on the plate. So the idea is that you pick the area that you want to use for your stamping and you place this gadget over the area that you want to use of the plate. That way you can see which of the cutouts will be the closest fit for the nail that you're going to stamp and place it over the selected area and then you can see how it will look on your nail. You get the idea how well it will fit on your nail and how much of the image that will fit on your nail. So just to show you, I'm using my La Femme in black, a stamping polish in black from La Femme, and I'm using my Fabio Nails Marshmallow Replacement Stamper Head and Bottle Cap. So you select the cutout that fits, is the closest fit to your nail that you're going to stamp, and then the area that you want to use of the plate. So I'm going to do this area right here. So place this stainless steel plate over the image that will give me an idea on how it will look and how it will fit onto your, my nail. So apply some polish, scraping. This is the thick one right here. It works, as you can see. Place the gadget over pick up the image and there you go and then stamp and look not much cleanup needed because I picked the closest fit so again and it's easy to clean up if you have get messed up in the back of the um, stainless steel plate. Doesn't matter, you just clean it off with some acetone on a cotton round or cotton ball and continue. So I'm going to choose a different area of the image right here. Okay, I have to try that one again because I was fiddling too much. Um, so let's try again. It's starting to get hotter right here, so I have to start having the air conditioning on again. So I have to be quick. But again, picking it up and pacing. And again, minimal clean up needed because I picked the cutout that was closest fit to my nail. So going to do the tiny tiny one, the pinky one, just to show you. So again you can kind of get an idea of you know how it will fit on your nail by placing it over before you apply the polish and scrape. But um because of this little cutout is at the end right here, you get a bit more mess, but as you can see, it's kind of cut off because of the edge right there. So it's easy to see where you can just use your lint roller or tape to remove the mess before you um, place the image onto your nail. And still, it will, it will be less clean up if you do it like that. Um, 
just doing the same same little cut out again as you can see and I didn't remove it the extra right there because I don't want to risk um, the polish drying on me so but anyway you get the idea I mean I can see just showing you this why this plate went out like crazy the first time she really it because it is a really helpful little tool and even just for your normal sorry that's my desk actually <laughs> uh, um, normal full nail images like if you're like me an image like this never ever able to get it center on my nail never been able to do that so that's why I don't use these kind of images so much because they are so off to the sides of my nail towards the bottom or the top of my nail that it looks ridiculous so um, I know it's not perfect right here right now but I can tell you it's way better than I normally would have done without this little gadget right here I mean, I can just, look, center it before I pick up the image. And look at that. I wouldn't ever be able to do that on my own without this gadget. I'll, I will show you on my nail next. It's not perfect, but still way better than I normally would do on my own. Yeah, and way less cleanup too, just using this gadget. Just look. See? It's not going to be perfect, but still, look. Way better than I would have done or normally, and not much cleanup needed. Look. It works. It is absolutely super just for this one plate right here. But you don't just only get this one plate, you get another plate too. And that is why I am saying right now, this kit I feel is a must in any stamper kit. Because it gives you so many options. Just this plate right here gives you so many options right here. And why? Huh. For example, if you have a very limited number of image plates in your collection and you feel like you're using the same image plates or the same image over and over and over again this kit will give you options to change your manicure why because you can take these special plates or just normal plate with full nail images like so and instead of using the same full nail image over and over again you can use this gadget to get different shapes of the same full nail image for example this one right here very pretty full nail image right so, apply polish, scrape, choose this image right here, pick up, and stamp, and I have turned this full nail image into a French tip image. See? So easy. Super duper easy. So, just cleaning up and then I'm going to show I'm going to show you all of these images just to show you how they work I mean why 
this hasn't been thought of before. I don't know. But Julia sure did, in my opinion, the next big thing in stamping. She made it possible for any stamper who owns this kit to get so much more of their image paints. I mean, look, I turned it into a chevron image right here. Yeah, I was too slow to stamp it, but I will try again. But like I said, you get so many more options of your same old image paint that you feel like you're getting so tired of using over and over and over again. Just because this bright idea right here I mean, I hope she releases more of these plates with more shapes on them because it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, it is a must in any stamper collection, in my opinion. Because you get these two stainless steel paints that you can do so much with and that will help you a lot when you do your stamping so I'm doing this one and look and before I had before I had this kit if I wanted to do this kind of an image before I would have to you know use tape striping tape or, or, or scotch tape and then stamp and then um, remove the tape and if the tape wasn't all pushed down all evenly on your nail badge you would have to kind of clean up with a clean up brush where it got like messed up the image you don't get that here it's so easy to use I haven't tried it with a firm stamper um, so um, if you have this kit um, and try it with uh, or a, a normal Conad stamper, let me know down below how it works. I don't like using my Conad stampers or any firm stampers, so that's why I didn't um, try it um, with this kit. I mean, just look, I'm going to use this circle image right here. I mean, it's so easy. I mean, it's just does so much more to your nail paints and your nail art, your stamping nail art, just having this kit in your collection. So, if anything is a must from Messy Mansion, I would say this kit. <laughs> and then the paints. <laughs> That's my opinion. Well, maybe, maybe this kit and a plate. But I didn't do that because I didn't have money for two, two kits and a plate. So I only got to order these two kits. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's just really, really a helpful kit to have in your collection with your stamping plates because you get so much more of your image plates with this so much more options that you can do I mean there isn't anything bad to say about it the only thing bad is I wish there was more plates with more shapes in it that's the only bad thing I have to say about this kit. See? I used the two stars. And turned a full nail image into something new. So, yeah. This kit, if you can, hurry and order it. It is a must, in my opinion. You get the three scraper cards in different thickness. So you can 
use the one that suits you the best. And then you get these two stainless steel stencils, I guess you can uh, call them, that will help you um, with your stamping and give you more options in your stamping. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video has been a help. I mean, I've been just babbling along, I know, and it's getting late. And as you can see, the acetone, I'm using 100% acetone. It's not messing up the logo on the scraper cards. Good as new, and it's easy to clean the stainless steel plates on the back. Just some acetone, cotton pad, and just wipe it off. Very easy. And you get so much more out of your plates. And if you have those special um, plates that covers, that has one image that covers the whole plate, and you don't know how to use it and how it will fit on your nail, the first card is excellent for that. You can use both cards on any types of images that you want to. And this little box, everything fits neatly and you can store them. The only thing is that the cards are a bit big so you kind of have to kind of pry them out with um, something because they're kind of stuck at the bottom but that's okay I mean I don't mind that but like I said the only thing bad about this kit I wish there were more stainless steel plates with more shapes on them to use because this kit is amazing I love it as always thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.